What's up guys, this is a re-video of something that happened to me a few years back. As you know, I'm very allergic to uh, getting hairs from tarantulas. And uh, I'm very meticulous normally to be very careful when I work around their enclosures. You can actually get gloves. Uh, that was one of the advice that I gave in the last video that I did this um, to prevent it rather than actually cure it. But it's happened, it escaped and it kicked a load of hairs off as I was trying to recover it. So, as you can see, I've come up in a very itchy rash. Now, if you watched my last video, I gave some good advice. It's basically, if you do get haired, you want to get some tape and pull the tape off and um, then run your hand under cold water. Now, there's two options to actually sort of remedy the situation, especially if the itch is so intense like I've been feeling. And uh, that was either run your hand under freezing cold water, or my preferred one is under boiling hot water. And then the itch goes crazy. It basically sends a signal to your brain that it's too hot. It clashes with the itch signal and then cuts it out. Uh, that works with all kinds of um, itchy effects on the body. So yeah, my other video is still worth a watch because there were some other things I, I talked about in that video. But what I'm talking about here today, guys, is the best way to sort of cure this. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to get yourself a pin or sterilized needle um, and use that as, you know, medium to pop it. And then, I should have got my tripod for this really, but, and then what you wanna do is you want to find these itchy raised bumps. And you can see I've done quite a few of them. I've lanced them. Yeah, it doesn't actually hurt, so if you're squeamish, you shouldn't worry too much. It should just be relief. As soon as you pop it, this clear liquid runs out, and then that itch is gone. And what will actually happen is it will harden up, and you'll, you'll not get an itch in there anymore. It's a bit cosmetically unsightly, as you can see here, but if you keep following what I said in the last video, running your hand under hot water, it gets rid of the itch for you know seven, eight hours, but then eventually the itch will, will return the next morning. And what it does is it covers the itchy fluid filled blisters and that fluid is still in there. So if you get this pin, pop it, um, that that liquid runs out and then it doesn't actually come back. Now, what else was I gonna say? Um, so I will try and do a demo for you guys because I've got quite a few here that look like they need popping. So we'll do these ones. My window sills a bit dirty guys, so I apologize. But it's got good lighting here. But yeah, what will happen if you use the hot water method anyway, is your skin starts to sort of shed its layer very fast and you'll get a load of skin peeling. Sort of like what's happening here, because I've been using hot water. Yeah, you can see the start of it, it hardens up, calluses up and peels. Um, this will be a lot quicker at remedying the problem. So, there's one there that I can actually pop that I haven't got. Okay guys, so it's the next day and this is what it looks like on my hand. And the itching has completely stopped in those areas, so this is definitely the best way to do it. Um, what I'll do now is show you me popping the ones on my other hand, which I didn't do. So, just get this camera focus. All right, there we go. Now, there's one there. So if I just pop that, there we go, and you'll see a clear liquid running out, which is some sort of defense mechanism from the body for, for these urticating hairs. Uh, let's have a look, where's the other one? There's one there. And there's that clear liquid you see it running out so we've got pretty much most of these that are itching well guys that's going to be it for this video i hope that this helps some of you if you're suffering like i do uh, this uh, condition here where you get this urtica urticaria um, is actually called pomphilix because i went to the doctors years ago with this um, 
which is some sort of eczema or something related to it but it's this is triggered solely by tarantula urticating hairs so yeah there you go that's what it ends up looking like and that itch has gone away there will be more that appear because there's more hairs embedded in the skin or it's some kind of reaction but hope this helps you guys and uh like comment subscribe tell me about your experiences any ways to treat you that you've got yourself and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys bye